Well, we looked at how data is distributed and stored. Now let's understand how this data is ingested or transferred to HDFS. One tool that utilizes this function is called Scoop. Scoop is a tool designed to transfer data between Hadoop and relational database servers. It is used to import data from relational databases, such as Oracle and MySQL, to HDFS, and then export data from HDFS back to the relational databases. As the increased amount of streaming data is becoming more useful, we will want to ingest that type of data as well, which includes streaming data, sensor data, or log files. For all of these types of data, you can use Flume. And Flume is a distributed service that collects event data, and then transfers it to HDFS. It is ideally suited for event data from multiple systems. Now that we have data loaded into our HDFS storage arrays, it is now going to be processed. One of the frameworks that processes data is Spark. Spark is an open source cluster computing framework. It provides up to 100 times faster performance for a few applications with in-memory primitives as compared to the two-stage disk-based MapReduce paradigm that Hadoop uses. Spark can run the Hadoop cluster and process data in HDFS. It also supports a wide variety of workloads, which includes machine learning, business intelligence, streaming, and batch processing. Spark has the following major components. As shown in the diagram, we see Spark Core, also the Resilient Distributed Datasets, also known as RDDs, Spark SQL, Spark Streaming, the Machine Learning Library, or MLib, and GraphX. Spark is now widely used, and you'll be learning more about it in subsequent lessons. Hadoop MapReduce is the other framework that processes data. It is the original Hadoop processing engine, which is primarily Java-based. It is based on the Map and Reduce programming model. Many tools such as Hive and Pig are built on top of the MapReduce model. It is an extensive and very mature, fault-tolerant, built-into-the-framework tool. It is very commonly used, but losing ground rapidly to Spark. 